Hey guys, it's Gavis Game, and I want to show you how you can get the best quality audio in Sony Vegas. So here I have set up um, four different clips of audio. Um, this one will be the original that is untouched and unedited or anything. So this one will have the compressor that um, has the edited version. This one has the compressor and the EQ. And this one has the compressor EQ and the noise gate. So I'll play them through and you can now tell the difference between all four of them. So I'll just play them. Hey guys, it's Gavis Game and I wanted to show you the difference you can make to your vocals using the track compressor. Hey guys, it's Gavis Game and I wanted to show you the difference you can make to your vocals using the track compressor. The difference using the track compressor and the track EQ and the difference using all three, the compressor, EQ and the noise gate. Alright, so this one has nothing done to it, so you can definitely tell the difference between this one and the compressor. So the compressor, you can just go to the track FX and you go to this one here. Alright, so I've got it as a preset um, YouTube audio. So, and you have all these different settings that you can do, but I have a set um, custom Thing. So I'll change it back to all the default one. So now you can tell the difference that um, I have changed um, the threshold and the amount and I've clicked smooth at saturation. So let's go back to the YouTube audio. So you can change and put your settings to 21.5 and 3 and click the smooth saturation. So that will increase um, your, your vocals so it sounds a lot better, a lot louder and such. So that is quite useful um, for doing that. All right, so that's what we have there for for the second one, which just makes it sound incredible already. All right, for the third clip that um, has the track EQ, so the equalization. So we've got the track compressor already done, the 21.5 and the 3 and the smooth saturation. And now we have the track EQ. All right, so we have this fourth channel here, which is the high sounding screaming and pitching noises that I do. Um, now that I have it set at six, um, cause I do scream a lot and I am, I have a higher voice cause I am a girl. So, um, I put that up just to six. Um, you can put it at nine. Um, so it sounds a bit more crisper and such, but I like to have it at six, so it's not too bad. And um, one um, has a bit of a more um, bass to your voice, but I'm a girl, so I've, I just put it at three. But for um, males and stuff, you can have it at six or nine. So you can have it there, and that will give you a nice bass to your voice and such. So I just have it at three so that just gives me that, that a little bit extra in my in my vocals so that's my settings I don't touch the um, the second band or the third band I just leave them um, as is you don't need to do that and the fourth one here um, the track noise gate I don't know if you guys have ever messed with this before but um, if you have background noise, which um, I can show you here, if I can get a part here that goes using the track. Okay, so maybe here. Oh, it has a bit of voice there, but maybe there. All right, there we go. So you see just like a bit of green in there when it's supposed to be silent. Um, that is just background noise and I've set it to 35 so you can set it at, at any level but I've set usually set mine at 35 around there and then the noise gate so only noise above 35 so noise above that level will be shown on the track so any of the background noise that comes through will be cancelled out so on the last track, this one, um, all the background noise is cancelled out. So all that little stuff that's 
down here is gone so it's nice and crisp and clean so you can do that in Sony Vegas but I usually if I'm lazy I do that but I usually um, export it out and I'm um, going to or Audacity Audacity Auto City that's what I like to call it <laughs> Audacity and um then you can um, get rid of the background noise that way that's how I usually do my audio but this is just a Sony Vegas tutorial so that's one way to get rid of um, the background noise um, that I've used with my audio so yeah I hope this um, guide and tutorial helps with um, making your voice sound pretty awesome so yeah I definitely use this one the third one most of the time so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed remember to like and sub and keep on giving my friends